I got a job at the Opera Theater as a backstage crew when I was 15 and 16, or 16 and 17, something like that. And that's when I heard music, as in official music, and mainly Italian operas. And that, that's how I, I went to the other side. <laughs> how did you go to the other side? What did you do? Well, I asked people. And because the operas, and these are modest opera productions, I would think in looking back. I mean, there are no videos or photos of this because we didn't have devices. But I approached people, I approached singers and conductors that would come from Chile. I mean, wow, they would come from Chile, but that's our closest country. And so you find out information, particularly when we didn't have a school of music that taught orchestral conducting. So there was nothing in the vicinity that I could use or I can plan with. So there was this one conductor who, who came a couple of times to Peru and he said, yeah, you should go and study in Chile. And Chile is the closest country to Peru, however far long, but the closest nonetheless. So I ended up going there and that was the last year of Pinochet's regime. So this, I mean, there were strikes, there were demonstrations. I mean, the, the country was in chaos. And as a matter of fact, the following year was when they voted you know, to no longer continue with this regime and to turn over to democracy. So as soon as I got there, I realized I wasn't going to study there. And there wasn't a plan of study and there wasn't a career of study. But it was there through one of the, through other, con uh, through other students that I, that I met, that somebody showed me a catalog from the Curtis Institute of Music. And I just started reading and I had no idea what the Curtis Institute of Music was. Mind you, these are, this is in the mid, mid 80s, you know, there's lack of communication. Phones didn't exist. I mean, just to come across a phone was hard enough. There are phone lines. So that's how it was. It was that brochure. And I read through and said, I'm going to go there. That was it. And that was my, my goal. What I did is knowing that that was my goal, now I have. So now, I have, now I have a goal, now I have specifics, you know, so I studied the whole of music in a year. Harmony, counterpoint, fugue, composition, obviously, which I came up with terrible compositions, but you have to study, you have to study how to write all these things, music history, ear training, everything. I never studied music theory, ever in my life. I mean, I know it sounds crazy, but I just picked it up as I was growing up with popular music. You actually know how to transpose, how to do these things without knowing you're doing it. So, yes, I prepared for, for my audition at Curtis, but I got to Curtis to do my undergrad degree. So it was a good thing because I had a, a platform to connect all the dots, everything that I had either improvised or attempted to do. And had not been for my teacher, Otto Werner Mueller, who, you know, guided me through the whole process of two schools. You know, through Curtis and then Julia for my master's. I wouldn't be doing what I do now. I would have been completely unorganized, improvised, and most likely not successful at all.